So here we have Harvey Lowe, a regular at our store, Summer Hobbies. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Harvey. Hi, my name is Harvey Lowe. I have a huge addiction to scale modeling. I've been doing it as long as I can remember since age eight. Uh, I've never l let the hobby go in my life except when I went to perhaps university and had my nose in a book. Uh, and of course meeting my wife and dating, but all the other time has been spent uh, building and scale models and I love it. And what are the trends in the hobby at the moment? I think some of the big trends right now are, the big one off the, at the top of my head is 3D printing. There's a lot of aftermarket parts that are being done by 3D printers and you can buy those. That's huge right now. And uh, I also think that there's a lot of uh, new neat products like uh, uh, instrument panels done on vinyl, you know, vinyl decals. Um, th those are cool. They're, they're really great to have 3D relief on some of those and gives you a lot of opportunities. Those are some of the new products that I love, as well as the ongoing constant new paint range from companies like AK um, and uh, Make. Amazing. And what are your, some of your favorite brands? I start off, I love uh, weathering products. So uh, my, my go-to's for weathering products are AK Make. Uh, I love their range of colors. I love their weathering effects. Uh, they have a ton of, in, of different uh, mud, splatter effects. I mean, if there's anything that's that's kind of confusing and there's so many of them right now. Um, but I would say that uh, some of the big trendsetters are some of the, the dry dust products and some of the new uh, enamel weathering. Uh, you're always finding new ones coming out today. I found one today right on aircraft uh, oil uh, effects. So there's always something new. I love those products. Yes. And what is a tip that you wish you knew when you started modeling? I would have loved to have known how to apply more depth to colors when I was a kid using things like washes and oils. Back then you just painted a model one color, uh, but now you've got to spend time telling a story. Part of telling a story is using different techniques to weather um, a model, whether it be an aircraft or a tank, spending some time with what colors uh, work better with others weathering, uh, whether it's something on the eastern front with a ton of mud or uh, the North African desert with a ton of dust. Those are some of the things that you need to think about now. And it's much part of that as anything else. Yes. And how do you find balance between family time and hobbying time? That's very important. I'm happily <laughs> married and my wife has a huge understanding. Um, so I divide my time where I get up early in the morning and build then and then obviously late at night. And that, that's how I balance it. Uh, but I can tell you, I had a lot of friends who sometimes use my house as a storage for new kits until the coast is clear. So I've done that before for many of my friends. Thank you so much, Harvey. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks, and thanks for having me. And, and like I say, I love shopping. That's part of the hobby. So thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.